Alright squad, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an updated classes and settings video for Modern Warfare. Since the last video I have switched to PC keyboard and mouse, so the settings I'm going to show you guys are a little different. You guys have been asking for my keybinds and whatnot, so I'll go ahead and show you guys those as well alongside my audio settings and everything else that I run in Search and Destroy. You guys asked for monthly updates with the last video, so that's what we are doing. It's been a little over a month since the last one in Season 4 has been released, so got some new setups for you guys to see, got some updated classes and, uh, and some settings as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like if you do. If you are new to the channel as well, be sure to subscribe and join the Seek Squad. As well as if you guys have not hanged out over my over on my Twitch before, twitch.tv slash Seek. I stream pretty much every single night around 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you'd like to stop by sometime and having a lot of fun on the Twitch streams lately, having a lot of you guys come over there. That's a lot of plug it real quick for any of you guys that don't know about it. If you'd like to play with me live, get a, get a chance to play Search and Assure with me, uh, or to watch me play Search Live or anything like that, Twitch is where to go. It's twitch.tv slash Seek. Hope to see you over there. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Starting things off with my Rush class, my MP5 setup obviously is the number one gun to choose if we're talking best gun for search and destroy rushing. MP5 is the way to go. Attachments on it has, have changed since the last video. With the last video, I used to run, I would run the normal monolithic, and I would run uh, the collapsible stock. I, en I ended up getting rid of the collapsible stock shortly a couple weeks after making that video because as the more and more I started to use stim rushing as you guys have seen in my videos in the last video I made I hadn't really touched stims started stim rushing a lot more and which causes me to rush a lot quicker and I've noticed that I kept getting caught off guard with the slow reload mp5 and I wanted slide of hand so I got rid of collapsible and put on slide of hand so I could reload quicker and then recently very recently it has come out that the uh, integral suppressor is just a little bit better not that much better, and to the point where I don't really notice that much of a difference, but supposedly the integral is better than the muzzle monolithic, monolithic suppressor. So I put that on instead. So that is the setup running the MP5 now. We also have Merc grip, 10 millimeter rounds, and stippled grip on the gun. Knife secondary, because that's the fastest way to run in search and destroy. You could also run the new sticks if you would like to. Um, from what I understand, there was rumors that they were slower, but I really don't, I don't notice any really speed difference with them. The only issue I have with the sticks is that... Uh, is that they're two hit kill, whereas the knife's a one hit, and it takes longer to pull out your gun with them. Uh, at least it feels like it does to me. I don't have actual like stats behind that. It just feels like it takes me longer to pull out my SMG uh, with with the sticks than I do with the with the knife. So I've just been running the knife still. Perks wise, I run EOD, uh, typically Ghost and Tune Up. I usually start with Restock, but I'll switch to Ghost uh, if, I'm, if I'm playing solo and they get UAVs. Typically, when I run solo, I just throw Ghost on by default because the team usually ends up giving them a UAV or they end up getting one at some point. The enemy team does. Uh, but usually I'll run EOD or Doubleheim depending on the map I'm playing and the route I run. If you watch my Rush Route videos, uh, you know my my perks, my, my first perk constantly changes depending on the setup I plan I'll run. Same goes for perk 3. I usually run Tune Up, but on some maps I like to run Shrapnel, like Arclaw Peak, for example, where there's great nade spots. Uh, but for the most part, I just run Tune Up, uh, Ghost, EOD. That's like the main three for when I'm playing solo search. And with a party, though, I just run Restock. Moving on to my Lethal and Tactical on the Rush class. Tactical and Lethal, they all depend on uh, on whether or not the, uh, the route I'm going to run. It all depends on the route I'm going to run. If it's the route I need Stim for, I'm going to Stim Rush for the for the refresh of Tax Sprint. Uh, if I want to stun, I'm going to pick someone off at the beginning of the round. I'll run a stun or I'm going to smoke. Typically, the one I default to is Smoke and Nade. I'm really enjoying Smokes in this game, using them to get out of tough situ situations since I tend to rush pretty stupidly in some ways, throwing Smoke right down below me and disappearing like Batman does. That it works out pretty well. Uh, but the frag grenade I usually go with, and then occasionally I'll go Semtexes, uh, depending on the route. I know on hard hat I like to use Semtexes. Same with uh, Condor Hideout, a lot I'll use Semtexes. Um, I also use Thermites if they have Riot Shields. If they have Riot Shields, Thermite is the Riot Shield, the pellet. It is the way to go. Moving on to my OP class. This is my least favorite class to use. I try to avoid using it as much as as possible but my m4 setup has not changed in a long time i still love the setup that i run for the m4 it works out good we got the m16 barrel merc foregrip stipple grip the mini reflex and no stock if you can go without the reflex by all means go without the reflex run sleight of hand run a freaking compensator or something else i don't like the m4 iron sights though I, I can't stand them so i just use the mini reflex i've tried going we'll go without it but i just suck with it i i, I gotta use the sight on the m4 uh, we go mini reflex, no stock, stippled, merc, and M16 barrel. Knife secondary, uh, occasionally, depending on the map, usually like Piccadilly or sometimes on Shoot House, a few maps where the lobby gets really, really, really sweaty. I'll throw the Joker on and spawn Javelin and spawn Nade, and then I'll uh, just kind of sit back with the M4. But for the most part, we'll start with the combat knife. Uh, perks, EOD goes battle hardened. These don't ever change. 
Uh, if I'm going to run this class setup, it usually means my team's doing bad. I haven't been doing very good. They're winning. I'm losing. They've got UAVs. They're throwing equipment at me. So I just have EOD Ghost Battle Hard it. And I just try to be just to sit back, head glitch, cover the bomb as much as possible. Try to bring the game back class. That's what this is for. Um, frag and smoke. Smoke, tell me to get out of situations. Again, it does depend on the map I'm running. I'll go from stun, smoke, or stim. Same goes for frag or septex. For the most part, we default to uh, smoke and a frag. Moving on to my sniper class. I, my personal favorite sniper to go with is the HDR. HDR, I run the TAC Laser, Bipod, Focus, and the Stalker Scout Stock. I will occasionally, depending on the map, like if it's uh, Zero K, for example, or R Club, or not R Club, yeah, R Club Peak sometimes, I'll run Thermal. Uh, but Thermal, I'm not, I don't love Thermal just because it's OP. I prefer to just kind of more, more run and gun quick scope with this thing. It's kind of more of the fun class for me than the sweat class. But if I'm going to sweat with the sniper, I'll go ahead and put the Thermal on. Uh, but if not, I just use the normal scope, just those four attachments, and then I run the cross thread reticle, which I really like running on the HDR because it matches the AX50 reticle, and I just I really like it. Uh, secondary wise, the single deagle was my favorite thing to run, but since my mouse aim isn't as good, I'm running a lot of Kimbo M19s. But if you'd like to run the deagle, this is what I run on it. We got the pack extended barrel, lightweight trigger, 10 round mag, stippled grip, and the chrono mini reflex. I know a lot of people don't like running a sight on the deagle, personal preference. I, I, I'm better getting headshots with the sight on it, so I run the sight. If you don't like the sight though, switch the sight of hand or something. Uh, if it makes it better for you, run a mono suppressor or something like that. You could do that as well. Uh, M19s is what has been my go-to lately though. The M19s is my absolute go-to, which I run the fix it real quick. Got 32 round and that laser. That's what we usually have been running on the M19s as of recent. I've been running a Kimbo because I recently switched to mouse and keyboard, so my mouse aim is not very good with single shot weapons. So the Kimbos work out well, and these are by far the best Akimbos in the game, in my opinion, besides the snake shots. The Renetti's got nerfed, so they're not nearly as good as they used to be. I think the M19s are honestly better. Uh, snake shots are just annoying, so I feel like a jerk using them because no, I don't like using, using the 725. Same goes for the Akimbo snake shots. I just don't really run them anymore. I feel like a jerk when I do it, so I just run the uh, Akimbo M19s, in which case we have Lightweight Trigger, 32 round mag, Akimbo, of course, uh, the TAC laser, or the 5MW laser, sorry, 5MW laser, and the XRK extended barrel. Uh, moving on to perks. On my sniper, I run EOD because a lot of sitting back, I usually get hit with nades, so I run EOD. Uh, I'll usually run restock so I can throw smokes over and over again if I'm going to have thermal, or, or I'll usually run uh, either stun or stim if I'm not running. Um, if I'm not going to run thermal. And then I'll usually just throw a frag grenade on or a semtex, just, just why not? Uh, and then we have restock tune up. Finish it out. Ending things off with one more class. I've got the class for my for the new DLC gun, the Amax, which is the Galil. This gun is amazing. If you have yet to unlock it, you are gonna love it once you do. Here's the setup I would recommend running. This is what I'm running. I've maxed it out now, and it is this gun is fantastic. It really is. It challenges the M4 as the best rifle in the game, which is awesome because I don't know about you guys, but I'm super tired of using the M4 and having to fight people with the M4 24-7. I want a new gun to use that is not the M4. So, barrel that I run on it. We got the Zodiac barrel. Then we run Ranger Grip, Stippled Wrap, which is Stippled Grip, same thing. I got a Mini Reflex, and then I run the Exo Stock, which is a really great stock. You have aim, walking, movement speed, and ADS speed. It's the last one you'll like, like, like level like 60 something. Takes a long time to get, but once you do, it's totally worth it. It is literally Quick Draw Pro and Stalker combined into a stock. It's fantastic. Would recommend running it over uh, No Stock personally because you can keep the. Uh, Keep the recoil control you get from the ranger grip and not lose it with no stock so personal preference is what i've been running on this gun if you unlock it level it up i recommend giving the setup a go it's a lot of fun set the m4 down and try out the new gun you will not regret it i'm uh, moving on same like normal perk setup uh eod ghost tune up i usually like to start with restock but like i said depending on the lobby i'll usually end up switching to ghost because the enemy team will get uavs if i'm playing solo usually i run tune up or shrapnel with this depending on uh Way it's gonna go and then eod usually i don't usually go double time on this class I always run eod with my rifles then you run frag and a smoke or stim usually depending on the map i'm playing don't really run stuns a lot with uh with rifles usually smoke or stim typically and then a frag grenade all right kill streak recently i've been running uh uav precision and uh veal because uh, if you play mouse and keyboard the cluster or not cluster the, uh, the cruise missile is kind of hard to maneuver on mouse, it moves really slow on mouse. So I started using precision more. Um, I also love running the, uh, uh, was it the chopper gunner or the support helo? Those are also really good in search. Personally, I prefer the chopper gunner to the helo. I feel like I have better luck getting kills with it, uh, and it's a kill less than the helo. Than the helo, the helo is very hit or miss when I use it. 
Chopper Gunner I usually can get a kill with because I'm in control of it. Uh, but yeah, default though, UAV, airstrike, and then the Vito Jet. I like the cruise missile, but man, it is really, if you play on mouse, you understand. It's like, unless your DPI is like 3,500 or something just out of this world, you will not be able to like really move it very far. It moves really slow. You can't do the whole angle it into buildings thing as well on keyboard and mouse. All right, moving on to my settings. Audio settings, really simple. I just run low music with boost high. That's it. Uh, I always have voice chat enabled and I have a, like all like the character sounds and everything enabled, but that's it. Uh, boost high, great for sound running. My favorite, I've played with them all. Boost high is my personal favorite in terms of hearing enemies. If you have a good headset, would recommend trying boost high. A lot of people like boost low as well, just because it doesn't blow your eardrums out of the water as much. But boost high, boost high is nasty in my opinion. Works great. All right, going into my settings, starting things off with audio. I run boost high for my audio mix, and I just run low music. I get asked a lot about my audio settings. Uh, that's it. I, it's just boost high with low music. I use the music on just like a little bit, but like turning it off is just fine. Like I just don't recommend having music on because it'll just it'll just overbear the actual uh, the actual sound of footsteps and whatnot. But yeah, boost high is what I run. That's it. That's the only thing changed in my uh, sound settings. That's all we're running. It's just uh, boost high. Everything completely normal. Um, if some people like boost low, which is all right, I prefer boost high. Boost high does make score streaks louder, like the VTOL is like deafening, but, but with boost low, I feel like I can't hear footsteps as well. I just, I don't know, I like boost high. I know a lot of people like complain uh, on my, on my audio settings video I made when this game first came out saying, oh my God, boost high, my eardrums are destroyed. It's like, yeah, you asked for the best audio settings to found her people. That's, it'll do it, but keep in mind that VTOL can get loud. Moving on to my keyboard and mouse settings, uh, I'm very much been told that I am very much a console player switched to keyboard and mouse because I run 16 our DPI, which is apparently pretty high, but it's what I got used to. I played around with a bunch of different settings when I first got keyboard and mouse, uh, first you know week or two, just constantly changing my sensitivity and stuff. But we rounded out to a four sensitivity, 16 our DPI has been what I've been running. Uh, here are all the settings, all that hasn't really been touched. Uh, I'll just go through it all. You guys have been asking for keybinds as well. Keybinds are seriously personal preference, so I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna like explain myself for any of them, but I've been getting asked a lot of what keybinds are run. So I'm just gonna scroll through them real quick for you guys so you guys can see all the other settings. If you'd like to try anything out that I run, you are welcome to. I know I'm gonna get roasted, but my push to talk is E. I know everyone roasts me for that, but uh, I just don't really know where else to put it, and I don't really use E for anything else, so push to talk it is. But yeah, there's all my there's all the keybinds and everything for my settings with mouse and keyboard. Moving on to my settings, starting off with audio. All I run for audio settings is low music with boost high. Everything else is uh, default. I haven't really touched anything else. Boost high is great for sound roaring. Some people like boost low. Personally, personally, I think if you can hear footsteps louder on boost high, I didn't like boost low when I used it initially. Uh, boost high does make score streaks louder though and explosions louder, so keep that in mind. It'll blow your eardrums out, but it's worth it to hear footsteps if you really want to. If you really want to go try hard and sound horn everything, and you guys know that's what I'm all about. Uh, moving on to like my actual settings, I run 16 hertz DPI on my mouse and a four sensitivity. Uh, that's what I've been running. Uh, here's everything else. If you guys want to see it, I'll just scroll down. I'm not gonna like explain all of it. Really everything I run. Uh, people have been asking for my keybinds. They're very much personal preference. Keybinds are, from what I've learned, just talking to people, everyone runs different stuff. Like everybody runs completely different stuff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just I'll just scroll through it for you guys if you'd like to check it out. Uh, and try anything out that I run, you're welcome to. But like I said, personal preference, woman, run whatever feels most comfortable to you. It's very, like it doesn't matter. Same thing goes for like sensitivity. On the game, we get asked a lot what, what's the best sensitivity for controller or what I ran when I was on controller. I ran an 8.8 sensitivity with default ADS. But um, again, it's seriously personal preference when it comes to sensitivities and stuff. Run what feels the most comfortable to you. All right, I believe I hit everything. If I missed anything in the comments, feel free to ask me a question. I'll be happy to answer as, answer as many of them as I possibly can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the classes help. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel as well, do me a favor. If you like Search and Destroy, please subscribe and join the squad. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Hit you on the next one. Seek and Destroy. It's been Seeger.